yourself, uh, well then you're probably gonna enjoy this video. And if you're not a fan of Overwatch, well then you should probably play it because it is definitely one of the most amazing games ever created. If you ever played like Team Fortress 2 or any sort of like team-based shooter, then this is something that you have to check out, guys. Like you really do. Also, guys, I am definitely not sponsored to say this. Overwatch, if you want to sponsor me, that is great because I literally love Overwatch. I main in Hanzo. I didn't know that's probably a bad choice, but Hanzo and McCree are flipping amazing. Because anyway, even if you do not know what Overwatch is, this is still going to be an amazing video because there are going to be so many new weapons and armors that you're definitely going to want to stick around to see, guys. But before we get into that, make sure to go slap the heck out of the like button with your Reinhardt hammer or shoot it with your McCree pistol. And also, guys, be sure to slam that subscribe button. Just punch the heck out of it or uh, what else can you do? Or guys, if you don't like slamming stuff and you don't like pounding stuff, then just lightly tap the subscribe button and turn on notifications for updates when I upload a brand new Minecraft video every single flipping day, guys. But anyway, as you know, guys, Bessie has something extremely cool set up. She actually set up a nice little portal. You can kind of see the tip of it over there, which is going to take us to an Overwatch dimension, and it's pretty much just one of the Overwatch maps recreated in Minecraft. It's going to be flipping amazing. It's going to look super realistic, too. Let's Let's also go check up on the doggies today. It looks like they kind of moved around a little bit. Beck Bowen's kind of chilling in the corner. It looks like we have Alpha and Omega chilling over there at the head of the pack. Uh, who do we have in the middle? Lucy and Branch. They look like they're talking up a storm. And then Twig is just over here by himself. Sorry about that, Twig. Uh, I can't really bring any of them with me today because we're going to be fighting some intense Minecraft mobs. But hopefully, uh, in a future monster case, I can showcase it here. But guys, today I really want to show you guys this awesome Overwatch dimension. So yeah, without further ado, first off, let's get all the items that we're going to need. So if we head into this. This chest right here, you can see that we actually have four different tokens, which are going to be used in every single craft recipe, and that's actually how you get the weapons and the armor of these four Overwatch heroes. So yeah, sadly right now, there's only four of the Overwatch characters in the game, but obviously, this is a very new Minecraft mod, so as it progresses, every single character should hopefully be added, and a suggestion I have if the mod creator is watching this, awesome mod, by the way, I checked it out, it is flipping amazing, but uh, if you could add in, like, the characters, they kind of just spawn in the cells, maybe 3D I know that would be kind of difficult, but I've never seen a mod that actually adds in the characters that'll spawn in around your world. You could actually fight, and then when you kill them, you can get some of their drops. Because right now, you can kill regular Minecraft mobs, and you can actually get these tokens, which you can use in all the different craft recipes. So pretty much, you just combine the token with a piece of armor, and that's actually how you get it. And then to get the actual weapon of choice of these heroes, you pretty much just put in the token, and it will give you the weapon. So for Hanzo, you put in the token, and then you'll get out a nice Hanzo Storm Bow, and you can do some amazing amazing cool things with it so you guys i actually don't need these because i already crafted all the stuff well actually i got it in creative mode i'm not gonna lie so yeah over here you can see that first up we have reapers so i'm gonna put all this stuff on and then we're not gonna test it out just yet we're gonna go into the, the dimension fight some minecraft mobs and then we're just gonna take them the heck down all right so let's see how this bad boy looks so we have the the reaper stuff on we also have the the shotgun and now these can actually be dual wielded as well so i should probably craft another shotgun but pretty much yeah, you can just walk around as reaper i really do love the models and the armor i think it looks so flipping cool but yeah, guys let's keep moving down uh let's grab the rest of the armor as well now so now we have reinhardt right here let's see what this bad boy looks like and you also get his giant huge hammer guys it is so cool i really do love it uh let's take off the reaper stuff so let's put this all here we're gonna take it all over to the dimensions let's see what reinhardt looks like bam oh look at this now i wish that it would give you some awesome effects maybe in a future update as i said guys this is a very brand new minecraft mod but the hammer looks so cool especially with the reinhardt armor on now, it kind of looks a little bit like Genji, I'm not going to lie, but Reinhardt is definitely a huge guy, and he has a giant hammer on. So, yeah, let's actually put some of this stuff back. So, you guys, anyway, let's keep moving down the line so that we can get over to the brand new dimension. Let's check out Anna and all of her stuff. So, we actually get the Bioptic Rifle, which you can actually shift-click down and aim in and snipe some mobs from far away, which is flipping cool. We also have the entire suit on. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite suits. Let me know in the comment section down below which suit out of all of these is your favorite. Currently, right now, this one is really cool because it kind of leaves your minecraft skin seeable but it also adds in like the little eye patch i really like this one i think the gun just makes it that much better but yeah, anyway let's move on to the last one let's take off and stuff we don't really need it anymore at least not right now we're gonna be testing all these out in just a minute here but last up guys we have hanzo who has to be my like at least one of my favorite overwatch characters in the entire flipping game so we're gonna need some arrows as well i believe that he actually uses arrows all right so let's try on the armor here i'm really curious how this looks oh gosh guys all right, this might be like a second favorite. Oh, this is so cool. It looks like I'm actually Hanzo. It's just about like a little zombie skin in the middle. But you guys, once you hold out his belt, oh, this looks cool. Oh, it actually has the sound effects as well. All right, I didn't, I didn't even realize that. It just makes it that much better. All right, so let's put all this 
stuff on. I'm going to actually put this stuff back away, and then we're going to re-put it on. Once we get into the dimension, we're going to figure out what we actually want to use, guys. So we have all this stuff here. We're going to go pick it up again. But Bessie, thank you so much for all the presents. There is fake Bessie, guys. I don't really like fake Bessie. But yeah, real Bessie, thank you so much. And all the wolves, make sure to have a fun time here. Don't hurt each other. We're going to head over here, guys, into this amazing dimension. Okay, so here we go, guys. Here is a little dimension right here into Overwatch. All right, guys, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it, guys. Let's go into Overwatch. Oh, all right, guys. Oh, wow. We actually made it into the Overwatch dimension. This is something cool. Now, I believe this is, what is this called? Eichenwald. So this is the castle map in Overwatch. It looks absolutely amazing. Plus, we have realistic shaders on. All right, so we're actually, or oh, we have all the same stuff on. So the first one I want to test out is Reaper. All right, so let's grab all this stuff. I'm also going to grab a second pistol because you can actually dual wield these bad boys. All right, so yeah, you can actually dual wield these bad boys. So if I hit enter here, you'll notice that I can actually have two out at the same time, which is going to be amazing, guys. We're just going to be shooting people. We're just going to be shooting a ton of my this is like gonna be the greatest thing in the flipping world okay so let's actually get out some mobs here we have a ton of different stuff and at the end guys we're gonna be taking down the wither skeleton with whoever my favorite is all right i'm gonna decide at the end of the video who my favorite is all right but let's grab a whole bunch of guys here and let's just start fighting all right we have a bunch of new ones and we also have a bunch of old classic minecraft mobs that are gonna be taken out we're also gonna be testing our skills out on creepers all right guys so i'm gonna go into game mode zero here and let's let the fight begin okay so i'm gonna dual wheel these bad boys let's first test them out okay Bang. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, oh. Okay. All right. That is cool. So I just need to right click nice and easy. Nothing too crazy. And it has a little bit of a cooldown. All right, guys. So first thing first, we're going to test this out on a magma cube. Let's see how this is going to work. All right. Oh my gosh. A nice big magma cube. Okay. Here we go. Bam. All right. So it does round two damage and also has a crazy knockback. I think I just hit him off the map. Oh no. He's still down there. So the range is not the best in the world. It looks like, yeah, we, we can get some hits from down here. Nothing too crazy. Let's spawn in another magma cube right here, guys. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We have a small little magma cube. We should be able to take him out. Oh, that was was a one hit KO. Alright, we should be able to take them out nice and easily, especially because it has like a nice spray fire, which is awesome, especially for taking out magma cubes. But yeah, let's try it actually on a bunch of villagers here. So let's spawn in just a ton of them. Alright, here we go, guys. Ready? We have a bunch of villagers coming in. Alright, here we go. Ready? Bam! Bam! Alright, so it does around four to six damage. If I get closer, though, well, I'll, I'll trade with them if I get closer. But yeah, if I kind of get a little bit closer, it looks like they'll do like 14 damage, 13 damage. That is flipping awesome. And they have a nice range on them, too, and a nice kind of burst effect so yeah this is reaper's hellfire shotgun it is absolutely amazing let's go chest test it out on creepers let's see if it'll blow up creepers guys all right let's do that spawn into creepers i'm getting a little bit scared all right creepers you stay the heck away from me oh here we go guys all right we just have one creeper i guess that spawned in oh 14 damage and bam Oh, gosh. I wonder if I'm close enough. It'll actually be a one-hit KO. So, let's spawn in a witch here. All right, here we go. We have we have the witch. What's up, dude? And bam! Oh, no. It's only the 14 damage. That is still amazing, though. I really do like Reaper so far. Reaper is definitely one of my top characters in actual Overwatch. But, yeah, let's actually switch over now. So, who do I want to do next? All right, guys. So, I think I'll just go in the order that I picked them out in. Let's test out Reinhardt and his giant flipping hammer. Okay. So, we have the rocket hammer here. I'm thinking I should probably try this out against something a little bit bad. So, let's try a vindicator. There we go. We have a bunch of vindicators spawn in. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you guys. All right. Let's see. Bam. Oh, it does a giant, enormous pound. Okay. Let's see if we can pound the ground. No, we have to actually make contact. But it does actually like a decent amount of damage. I think it does what? Like eight damage? If it does a critical hit? Oh, wow. This thing destroys mobs. All right. So, let's see. Another thing I could test it on is a bunch of vexes. Let's see how they do against mobs that fly around. Okay. We have, we have vexes here all right I sh i'll probably try this out with hanzo in a little bit because reinhardt is definitely not good especially for little minecraft mobs all right so we should be able to take them out in like one to two hits bam oh this is so difficult okay come on reinhardt you can do it just wave your giant thing around i can't flip it at him guys all right there we go i think it's better like this all right maybe third person will be a little better all right here we go guys and bam nope nope this isn't working at all all right maybe something else will work a little bit better magma cubes maybe i think that also reinhardt might be a good match for, uh, against the wither skeleton maybe if i can figure out a way to kind of get nice and close to him all right but here we have the reinhardt rocket hammer oh whoa this is awesome okay it does a decent amount of damage the armor doesn't really seem to be helping me a ton and probably because there's a bunch of vexes flying around but yeah the the damage that this thing does and the area of effect is definitely worth getting all right guys but yeah, that is reinhardt let's keep moving down the line here next up i want to test out anna all right so let's put on anna's suit of armor and let's get out her 
her biotic rifle. Okay, so Anna doesn't provide as much armor. As you guys saw earlier, Reinhardt actually had full armor uh, that he actually provided. All right, let's see if I can snipe these vexes. So let's see. I look awesome in third person. This is definitely has to be the most aesthetically pleasing one. But if I hit uh, shift, I can actually zoom in and I should be able to get in some snipes. All right, if I right click. Oh, there we go. Okay, now this actually has a slight cooldown. Now there is no light ammo that you have to craft, which is great. That's kind of how it is in regular Overwatch. So yeah, I should be able to kill these vex. Okay, here we go. Bam, come on, and there we go. Oh, no, it's a little bit. There we go. I just need to get some nice headshots. Oh, I just missed that guy. Oh, you're running away. You're not getting away from me, buddy. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I see you. I, I flip him soon. Now, you can also no-scope him if you do want to. It's not as accurate. You kind of have to perfectly line it up. But another amazing thing about this, say that I did damage to, like, a friend of mine. So, say that this is a friend, and then now he only has one heart left. So, I can actually hold down Z. You'll notice that I can actually heal him if he's far enough. So, as, as you guys just saw, I gave him back all of his hearts, but now we have to kill him because it's obviously a Vex, and I don't want him around. All right, let's kill this dude. This actually is pretty dang flipping accurate. I'm curious how Hanzo's thing will match up to it, but guys, this is definitely a great weapon. It pretty much is almost the same as Anna's weapon, just obviously the scope is made to be like more Minecrafty. but other than that, it is definitely pretty dang spot on. All right, guys, so let's take off this set of armor, and let's do the last one, which is Hanzo. Now, I'm curious how this is gonna match up. All right, so we have Hanzo right here. Definitely looks amazing. Now, let's grab Hanzo's Storm Bow. Now, hopefully in the future, also, their ultimates will be added. That would be flipping amazing. I would just love to see Hanzo's ultimate in Minecraft, guys. Uh, one day. One day we'll have Overwatch in Minecraft. I don't know why or who's going to do it, but it will happen. Trust me. All right, guys. So I definitely want to test these on some Vexes because these things definitely are the hardest things to snipe. So let's just spawn in a bunch of Vexes. All right. They shouldn't do that much damage. Bam. Oh, wow. That actually did a decent amount of damage. Hanzo doesn't provide a bunch of armor. He's one of the other snipers in this. So let's see. Can I hit it? Now, I know that it has a faster draw and also does a tad bit more damage. So yeah, I should be able to kind of quick scope them. Oh, this is so flipping cool. Yeah, you can kind of almost just quick scope it. It doesn't do as much damage if you don't pull back as long, but this is pretty accurate, especially considering the fact that this is a Minecraft bow. This is essentially just a retextured Minecraft bow. It has the sound effects and all, too, which is amazing. All right, so let's snipe the two. Oh, whoa, okay. Where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, there's one. This actually is really good for practicing sniping. I, I, I feel like I'm getting a lot better, especially at range attack. All right, there we go, and bam, they're all dead. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is fight the Wither Boss, and I think the best thing you do here is actually to mix and match, which is awesome because you can actually, like, have Reinhardt's chest on and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to put Reinhardt's armor on because obviously it is the best out of all of them, and then I'm going to use the weapons to fight the Wither. All right, so we're going to head back over here, kind of swap out some things, get all of our weapons ready. We're going to have the shotgun, the hammer, and all of them. All right, so let's put all this stuff away that I don't actually need. Uh, we don't need any of the mobs, obviously. Let's grab the wither stuff. So there we go. We're going to put that in the inventory. And we're also going to get all of the weapons on cue. All right, so we have the biotic rifle. We also have uh, Reaper's Hellfire shotguns. So let's put them all there, guys. And I think we're pretty much good to go. We have full armor. We are Reinhardt, but we're going to have all the weapons in use. All right, guys. Looks like we have one more Vex. I'm just going to use my offhand shotgun. There we go. Oh, I am already loving the heck out of this mod. Okay, so let's spawn in the wither scout skeleton right over here i have not fought one of these in a little bit all right so here we go one two three guys oh, okay here we go i'm gonna eat some steak up i'm gonna eat some steak all right i think i should go in first off with a rocket hammer hit okay okay let's just wait till he's fully fully healed up okay we just gotta wait one second guys well, one second oh my goodness all right let's get it guys here we go i'm really bad i didn't bring the wolves or else they probably would have died okay whoa all right this is going to be a heck of a fight okay i might need to use both these get the flip on me. There we go. There we go. Oh, this does a ton of damage, especially on the Wither. Okay, this is way too overpowered for the Wither. Okay, let's try out Hanzo's Stormbow. Okay. Oh, that does a lot of damage, too. Alright, we need to kind of get away from him. I think the Rocket Hammer is not the best weapon because he hit kind of his range. I think the best one here has to be the Hellfire Shotgun, guys. Alright, I need to get away. Eat a little bit. Alright, there we go, guys. There we go. We're doing a good job. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Where is he? Where are you at, Wither? Oh, here you go. All right, let's just spam this thing. This thing does so much damage. I love it. And then when he gets close, we can use the bow. And we can also use Reinhardt's giant hammer. Oh, this is just annihilating the Wither. I am loving it. Oh, yes. All right. 
This is great. Oh, he's actually almost dead. This thing is an amazing weapon, especially for the wither. I was not expecting that, guys. We actually just took out the wither, like, pretty dang easily. Thank you for that, Nether Star, Mr. Wither. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this Minecraft video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to go smack the heck out of that like button. And also, guys, let me know your favorite Minecraft Overwatch character, whichever character you think looked the best in this Minecraft mod. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. I really hope you did enjoy. My name is Beckboy Jack, and I will see you all tomorrow for a brand new video, guys. See ya! Bye, guys! My name is Reinhardt, and I have a giant hammer. Yay!